Welcome to today's snapshot for Tuesday, May 12th, for the people of Dr. Martin Luther Church. We're having a week of favorites this week in our snapshots. A favorite person of faith, favorite book, yesterday favorite hymns, and today favorite passages of scripture. I wonder what yours are. It's so hard to narrow them down. My favorite epistle from Paul is the last of his letters, the letter to the Philippians. In his other letters, earlier in his life, he's very argumentative. Sometimes he has a diatribe, sometimes he's angry. But in Philippians, he's very pastoral as he writes from prison, as his life is about to end. He says, whatever is pure, whatever is honorable, whatever is commendable, whatever is lovely, whatever is worthy of praise, think on these things and a God of peace will be with you. Wonderful words of strength and comfort. My favorite gospel is the Gospel of John. It has wonderful stories of Jesus having so many interesting conversations, very intricate and long conversations often, like he has with the blind man, and also the blind man's conversations with his parents and with the crowd who wonders what has happened. We get great insight into who this Jesus is. Jesus has these wonderful long monologues in which he describes himself says he's the bread of life or the good shepherd. And of course, a progression of seven, seven miracles from the wedding of Cana to the raising of Lazarus, the prelude to Jesus' own miraculous resurrection. It's a great book, well-constructed and beautifully written. But I think my favorite passage is from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah has what are called suffering servant songs. In these passages, we get an insight into how God operates with us. It's a beautiful insight, especially for us right now when we wonder, where is God in all this mess? You see, we have what's called a negativity bias. We love to stop and look at accidents on the road and listen to negative things on the news. Did you know there's a phrase in journalism called if it bleeds, it leads. Often the stories on the news or in the paper will be about negative things. And boy, are we ever seeing it now. And I think we can see in the suffering servant songs another way. You know, if you have an appeal to negative things, for every bad thing that happens, psychologists say you need to have four good things to overcome that one negative thing. Well, here in the Suffering Servant Songs, we see one good thing that overcomes all the negative things. Listen to the words of, this, of Isaiah in this first Suffering Servant Song from Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold, who we now know is Jesus, my chosen one in whom I delight. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a dimly burning wick. He will not quench. We do not follow a God who bullies us into belief, who threatens us, who intimidates us, but we have a God who rescues us. He will not hurt us and he will not scare us. I love this passage. We don't have a God who threatens us with coronavirus, but one who leads us, guides us, makes sure we get through the valley of the shadow, even of death. What a God to give thanks for. Let's close with these beautiful words again from his eyes on the sparrow. Whenever I am tempted, whenever clouds arise, when songs give place to sign, when hope within me dies, I draw the closer to him. From care he sets me free, his eyes on the sparrow, and he watches over me. Blessings.